It's that season for our country again. You know, every four years when we decide who will run the United States of America. Now, let's be honest. In the back of your head, or maybe the front, you're thinking, is all this that big of a deal? I mean, can't the president only be president for eight years at most? That's not that long. Really, what's the worst that can happen in eight years? Well, besides making decisions that affect our economy, homeland security, foreign policy, and the like, there's something else the president we elect in November gets to do. He or she gets to appoint judges. And just so we're clear, Supreme Court and federal judges are appointed for life, as in forever. Their influence on our nation continues many years past the term of the president who appointed them. Just to give you an idea, the current administration has appointed two Supreme Court judges, 55 U.S. Courts of Appeals judges, 268 U.S. District Court judges, and there are currently 90 federal judicial vacancies to be filled. These judges will serve on the bench, making decisions that affect life, marriage, the economy, and religious freedom in America until they retire or die. The upcoming election is especially critical because the current vacancy on the Supreme Court will be filled by our next president. In fact, the next president will probably appoint at least two and as many as four of the nine judges on the Supreme Court. Remember, these judges serve for life and the average tenure of a Supreme Court judge is 24 years. This court will make decisions that affect the definition of marriage, limitations on abortion, the right of private citizens to own guns, freedom of religious expression, public nativity scenes, war memorials with crosses, school choice, and many others. So your vote for a presidential candidate on November 8th is also a vote for the men and women of the judiciary who make decisions that will impact America for years to come. Don't leave the future of our nation to chance. Make your voice heard on Election Day. Pledge to vote. Go to ConcernedWomen.org.